Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin Morbius, is starring Jared Leto, and this is a story about a doctor that has a disease, and he's been trying for years to cure uh, cure this disease, and he's been helping out patients with the same kind of disease that he has, and uh, he f finds some way to cure it, but it becomes more than a cure, more like a, a curse. So before we get into this review, I want to say that I. I've been missing, I know, but I am coming back. I am trying to work my way back. I have a bunch of reviews planned. Uh, it's it's going to be like very, it's, there's going to be a bunch of reviews. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll be uploading daily for a while now with certain reviews. Um, I have Jurassic Park 3 to work, uh, to work on and Jurassic World f for this month. So you'll be getting two of those reviews this month and um, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom for next month, but we'll worry about that when that comes along. And I have some other reviews that I wanna talk about as well. So um, yeah, but let's get right into talking about Morbius. Um, so I was looking forward to Morbius. I was really looking forward to this movie and I'm very disappointed on how well this turned out. And um, there's people that like it and there's people that I watch also that liked it. Um, yeah, I don't think I trust their opinions anymore, to be honest. Um, so, it's just like, I, I don't know what, I don't know what went wrong. Um, I, this is, I can actually know, I see what, what went wrong. But, so they took out literally everything, and this isn't a spoiler, and it's also in the trailers. But everything that's involved with Vulture and Michael Keaton, connecting to the MCU and all that, or like, you know, a Spider-Man gone it's all gone except for put into a post credit scene that ain't a spoiler sony even came out and said it so sony's just giving everything out uh, away from about this movie even the director said some stuff that's kind of like a spoiler um but whatever i don't get what his deal is he even's like there is a spider-man in this universe as well well it, it's the venom universe we all know that um so of course so we're hoping this movie, it's a mess. The Sony verse is a mess. <laughs> I'm calling it the Sony verse now because I don't want I I Sony Sony, just just stick to the Spider Verse stuff. Just stick to that. You, whatever team you have working on that, keep them, because whatever team that you have working on you know all these other movies, we're getting like a like I forget what character we're getting next, but we're getting another movie very soon. And I ain't looking too forward to that one now. Pacing is so off that you that you don't care. Like the pacing is like going so fast where it's like, whoa, there's no time to breathe or like just or like let anything, you know, sit in or something like that. Like our main character, I don't I don't care. I don't care about Morbius. Like the movie starts out with him as a kid. And like you know, he's like uh, all and smart and all. And next we meet Matt Smith's younger version with him and all. But there's no chemistry between him. There's no chemistry between them because it time jumps to an older Morbius. It's like oh, okay. But but at the same time, those two didn't really have any screen or like any time to develop anyways because they were probably with each other maybe for a day or so according to the movie until something happens where Morbius had to leave him. So like they and, and they're just like oh I we've known each other for years. No you haven't. No no you haven't. And the la and the last time you saw him was, was probably years ago. I I don't know I don't know. This is oh I hate this movie. I this is awful. That, okay, I'll say that the acting is fine. Everyone does fine. Matt Smith is probably the best part, but even even him is like kind of weird and out of place um, with what he does. It's he he has some like you know Sam Raimi three stuff going on with him. Not I'm not even joking. The CGI is awful. I mean like it's nothing but like this weird smoky you know thing to, I don't I don't know what to call it. it I don't I don't I don't know but like whenever he goes into like the you know into that you can't see anything because it's because he there's a lot of fighting in the air and CGI you can't see shit like the you can't see anything when it comes to the fighting um, it looks awful anyways um, I, I literally don't know what to say because it's it's doesn't it doesn't even know its own story story it doesn't it doesn't even know what it's doing i literally forgot what happened in this movie right it ended i had to watch someone else's review to understand what the 
what the hell happened to even remember what happened and I'm only getting little pieces of fragments of what happened and that scars or not scars me but that bugs me so much and so but yeah that I I, I don't I don't want to see a sequel. There's a bunch of people like, I can't wait for the sequel. I don't want... I, we're going to sequel. I, I, Vin, Vin, for, the first Venom has the same rating with the, at least the audience. Um, I'm I, Like the first... Like the audience rot, on Rotten Tomatoes is like a 60. And uh, the critics are like seven, 15, 17%. Which I'm with. I'm with. Because this movie sucks. Because this... I, I swear, if we need a sequel... Oh... We 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 definitely have lost intelligence when it comes to movies. That 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 is that is for sure. Like like literally the villain with is Matt Smith. I could care less. It's so predictable. The movie is so predictable before it even happens. Like you can see what's going to happen if, uh, like from a mile away. It doesn't make any sense. Matt Smith. I he he's a terrible villain. He's awful. He's a selfish prick because. It doesn't make any sense for what it is. It do, it, do, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense because he is je some reason jealous of Morbius, uh, for some odd reason. Like there's this father figure in the movie, but Annex he's like, like there's a line where like you give more uh, you always you always like uh, appreciate Morbius more or something like on that line. This dude gave up his life to take care of you. This 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 dude that uh, that took care of you from childbirth basically. And you're calling and you think that he cares about Morbius than, than you because he got Morbius a doctor's degree and most I it's it's stupid. It's dumb writing. It's awful character development. That's all I can say because I have no idea what the fuck happened. I'm gonna give Morbius an F. I honestly don't like anything about it. I was bored out of my mind, even though that the pacing was going was all over the place and the movie felt like the movie was maybe 50 minutes long. But besides that, I <laughs> I d don't bother. Go watch The Lost City, which is another review I will be work uh, be re recording right after this, which is every way a better movie. So. Go check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.